The Hope Pro 5 has landed, so let's take a look inside, deep dive in on their features and details, and talk about what's changed from the Pro 4. Spoiler alert, only these three parts are carried over. Everything else is brand new. The Pro 5 is available in two different platforms, one for sensor lock brakes and one for six bolt. But despite both being called the Pro 5, the only interchangeable part is their free hub bodies. More on that later. Sensor lock is lighter and faster rolling and pitched more for road, gravel, or XC bikes. And six bolt has bigger bearings and more seals and is pitched more for mountain bikes and especially e-mountain bikes. The Pro 4 works really well in certain applications like trail and enduro, but as a platform, the Pro 5 has everything covered from road all the way through to e-mountain bike. This is pretty unique in the modern world of super specialization and it makes Hope Hubs worth reconsidering if you'd initially thought that they weren't for your riding style. So the Pro 5s look really good. They're more refined and less blocky than the Pro 4 and will better match modern bikes. They still have a full range of six anodized colors that are all really deep and beautiful, but my favorite color, that gunmetal, which was discontinued way back in the Pro 2 days, unfortunately has not returned. Unlike some brands where different batches of hubs have a slightly different hue, the Hope hubs have always been super consistent and the color stands up really well over the years of UV light exposure. Free hub bodies are interchangeable between the center lock and six bolt platforms and are available to fit Shimano HG, Microspline, as well as XD and XDR. There's no N3W free hub body for you Campagnolo e-car aficionados and no word from Hope on whether they'll be making one, but Fingers crossed. Hope's tech docs are still pretty good, but not perfect. For example, some part codes in the docs just don't match up to what arrives in the bag. Uh, we've let Hope know about these errors and hopefully they'll fix them shortly. As a key part of the awesomeness of Hope Hubs is their serviceability and compatibility. All right, let's tear some hubs apart. The front hubs are pretty simple, so we won't dwell long here. Six bolt hubs use the same end caps and bearings as the Pro 2, the Pro 2 Evo, and the Pro 4, and are available to fit 11 of the 13 fork standards that are out there. Center lock hubs use a smaller set of bearings to save weight and have end cap options for five of the most common of these 13 standards. There is no interchangeability between the six bolt and center lock front hubs. Center to flange and flange diameter are different between the six bolt and center lock front hubs with the smaller center lock flanges actually building into a slightly stiffer wheel because of their wider placement and the power of trigonometry. Both have a chamfered 2.6 millimeter hole in the flange and both are available in 24 through to 36 spoke counts, which is great. Pulling the rear hub apart, the first thing I notice is how similar but different it all looks. The same hope quality, the same design, but literally everything except for these two parts is different. The stepped axle seems to be the hub trend of 2023. It allows a lot of meat here at the axle's weak point to prevent breakages, but gives more space here for free hub body bearings which need to fit inside today's teeny tiny 10 tooth cassette cogs. The six bolt hubs use the same contact seal on the non-drive side as the Pro 4 hubs, and an additional weather shield on the end cap to protect their large 17 by 30 by seven millimeter bearings. Central lock hubs don't have any seals on this side of the hub. This will reduce drag and combined with the central lock hub's slightly smaller bearings will reduce weight. As with the front hubs, the rear central lock and six bolt use totally different end caps. So the central lock can be made to work with five of the 13 hub standards and the six bolt can be made to work with nine of them. The new axle is three grams lighter than the Pro 4, and it's worth noting that despite looking very similar, the center lock and six bolt hubs do use different axles, so pay attention to the parts diagrams when servicing. Unfortunately, the thin washer which separates the hub shell from the free hub body remains. This is made from steel and it can rub a groove into the aluminum axle as the bearings wear out. The all new free hubs come in two different options, either a lighter aluminum model, which gives 108 points of engagement, or a heavier duty stainless steel version, which gives 54 points of engagement. The free hubs have noticeably less drag than their predecessors and still sound amazing, although they are much quieter.
The pulls and springs are retained by a circlet, which is a really nice touch as it means they don't fall out when you're servicing the free hub. If we pry that off, you'll notice that the pull springs are completely different and a design that we've never seen before. The green free hub body seal looks similar to the Pro 4, but it is actually much easier to remove and refit into the hub and can now be done with the cassette still fitted, which is fantastic. The green seal is retained by this really nice aluminum cover. And it's really clever that you can swap between an XD and an XDR simply by replacing it. That means that despite Hope not selling a stainless steel XDR free hub body, which would be perfect for bike packing, you can make one by buying the stainless XD free hub and swapping out one of these. Seems like a lost opportunity to not do the same with the HG free hub bodies and include different seal retainers with the hub rather than a loose 1.8 millimeter spacer. I also don't like that they've lasered free hub body info under the hub shell when it's the free hubs which are interchangeable. And it would be great to see the end caps lasered with what model they are, which would make servicing and swapping out a lot easier. Center to flange and flange diameter are different between the six bolt and center lock rear platforms with them designed in such a way to provide nearly identical wheel stiffness and derailleur clearance. And like the front hubs, both have a chamfered 2.6 millimeter hole in the flange and are available in a full 24 through to 36 spoke count options. Awesome. Our industry doesn't always reward incremental improvements. Often the more radical and game-changing a product is claimed to be, the more industry hype and attention it gets, while workhorse products that prioritize, you know, actually working are uh, left out in the cold. Hope Hubs are one of those workhorse products, and my personal view is that taking something that has been proven to work and tweaking and modernizing it as bikes and needs change is fantastic, and it should really be recognized and celebrated far more. Is there anything that we missed? Ask away in the comments. I can geek out about hubs all day.